Hi there, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for you for March 2024. If you are not aware, after a little bit of rest, I've always put up a weekly, okay? But after a bit of rest, I brought back the dailies and the monthlies. So let's see how that goes. And P.S., if you're one of those groups that's like, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you back. I want to point out that I started my channel with the intention of posting once a week. And I have never missed a week in over 10 years, not through sickness, not through death, nothing. Obviously, it wasn't my own death. Nothing stopped me from making sure that I had something up once a week. So please remember that if you're like, oh my gosh, where have you been? I've always been here. Okay, I've been here. <laughs> I have been here. Maybe, you know, it's being hidden from you. I don't know, but let's see. Let's see what's going on here for you guys. Sagittarius. The lovers. Love that for you. Two of Ariel. Love is overwhelming. Okay, listen. Let's stop right there. I immediately felt that. Some of you are single and now you're in a place where you're attracting in a love partnership, but it's overwhelming because maybe you're not used to being in a partnership. And yet for others, you're finding that love has put quite a strain on just your life in general. And maybe feeling like you have to make a choice between career and love or between career and family. If you're a stay-at-home parent, you know, there could be pressure there around that. Five of Michael. There's a lot of beating yourself up. We'll talk about that. Six of Gabriel. You're going to come through because you got to make a decision. Let me get these in order here. And let's talk about it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 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 We started off with the lovers. There's the number six on here. And in angel numbers, the number six is material manifestation. It is our density consciousness world. So that in conjunction with Archangel Raphael being on here, the lovers, love is something that gets really distorted in density. This is where we get people mistaking limerence for love, mistaking lust for love. Um, but Raphael helps us heal that. Raphael helps us see the truth. Michael helps with truth too, but Raphael helps us know what's really in our hearts. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So there is that one there. That is what's starting off your reading for March 2024. Then we get into two of Ariel. It is important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. Yeah, I because it's Ariel and Ariel is uh, material manifestation and six is material manifestation. There's something here. It could be like, I'm not going to give any time to my love life because I'm working so many jobs because I have to, to make ends meet or um, I'm not going to allow myself to open up to love because I can't be distracted from whatever I'm doing. Uh, you're realizing now this month, something breaks through. I'm hearing commanding. Not that I'm encouraging you to get with somebody who's very commanding, but <laughs> there could be a situation that sort of commands your attention because it's so beautiful, because it's so fun. And yes, you might get into a little bit of trouble at work because if you're with somebody and you're reigniting the passion there, you're deepening your connection, you're just really flowing with whatever stage your relationship is in, or if you're single and you're starting a relationship, um, you're partnering in some way, because we've got the two there, two of Ariel. Whatever it is, especially if it's a new love, you might find that you are late to work. Or <laughs> if you're a freelancer, you had promised you'd have something done by this deadline. Yeah, maybe you let that go because you're just so in love. You know what I mean? It could definitely be, for some of you out there, something along those lines. Now, if you want something that is personal to your situation, you want angelic guidance on that, you can go to angelsouls444.com to book your personal reading. Those do not require any time commitment on your part. You fill out a form, I record the reading for you, and that's how you get that service. If you want a live reading, it's a different price point. Please respect the time. If you purchase a half hour, an hour, your reading is that amount of time.
All right. I can tell you guys too often I have like I even have an alarm that goes off to give a five minute warning and someone's like, oh, yeah, OK. Anyway, I know we're out of time, but can you answer these three, four more questions for me? Please be respectful. OK, that's <laughs> why so I'm not taking too many of those. But here and there I can. Or if you want a live course, the courses are connect with your angels, learning angel mediumship. Yes. Learning angel mediumship one on one. It's not a group class one on one or learning how to read angel oracle cards, you would just email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. The website is for standard readings. Email me for the other stuff because it's not regular and I'm not going to put it on the website. Just take it back down. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, was I just very two of Ariel there? Yes, I was. Okay. So then we get into five of Michael. This situation doesn't serve you. Someone comes in or um, someone says something. If you already are in a relationship someone wakes you up to something and saying hey mostly this is giving you're working way too hard way too hard and it's putting a strain on your relationship or it's not giving you a chance to have a relationship if you want one you know what I mean this situation doesn't serve you release your attachment to the outcome consider taking a more uplifting approach five of Michael is you know it's just this rough energy. It's like having to be on all the time. It's like having to watch your back. It's carrying all your swords with you in case you might need them, right? You know, um, and it's not serving you because it's blocking all your manifestations. That tense energy is making it so that you're not going to have what you want. And it's getting in the way, okay? Then we have six of Gabriel, which to me shows that you're having a breakthrough this month. Something is coming into your, you're realizing something like, okay, you know what? Is it worth working all these jobs where I'm not appreciated? Okay. All because I'm afraid of whatever, like you can sit and evaluate that for yourself. Or it could be that you, whatever you're engaging in day to day, there's fear there. Like, again, fear of losing a job or fear of losing your status or losing your place. Can I share with you? I worked in book publishing for a big book publisher. And the attitude overwhelmingly was there are so many other people ready to knock you down a flight of stairs and take your spot. You're lucky to be here. And there was a lot of ganging up. There was a lot of just really illegal treatment like you know like you can't you can't be threatening you can't uh intimidate like these are not you can't harass like you can't do that and yet there was so much of this going on and that's the feeling I'm getting here like maybe you're hanging on to something because you're like I'm lucky to be here or I'm lucky to have this or whatever you know not everybody's gonna go into a relationship and not everybody's gonna you know be in a relationship or want a relationship in that case, it's it's taken a hard look at whatever you thought you were in love with. I'm in love with my work. I'm in love with photography. I'm in love with music. I'm in love and being real with yourself. How much of your energy is it taking and for what payoff? So for some of you, you're looking at that as well. But the Six of Gabriel is wonderful. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. You see what I'm saying? It's time to um grow <laughs> right grow awards scholarships or promotion so this is a guy who's been through it he's had to fight for where he is and now he's arriving there's been some sort of victory but definitely for you guys this month it's a victory that was very hard won this was not something that was handed to you um it took a lot of internal like introspection and realizing certain things about yourself and being willing to let that go and realizing where you were avoiding healing with distractions. I've seen people take on second and third jobs, not because they need the money, but because they want to avoid home. They don't want to be at home. They don't want to admit that their relationship is crumbling. They don't want to admit that they can't keep up with their bills. You know, 
I mean, maybe they do need money in that case then, but you see what I'm saying? Like avoiding home, um, avoiding growing through whatever situation is right in front of them. So ask yourself if you've been doing that. Okay. Then we have decision. The number is 15 and you know, angel numbers, we would reduce that, reduce that, so to speak by adding the five and the one to make a six. And here we go. We have material manifestation again, decision, Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel is associated with the crown chakra. Again, wisdom, opening up to the divine, having divine connection, remembering divine love through that connection and therefore seeing the beauty in everything, even the hardest lessons, being able to see the beauty in that. And this says, release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of confidence. So in this particular card, we see a bird, the cage is open. One bird is flying out. The other one is just sitting there, even though the door is open. They could be free, but they're choosing not to be free. And when we're talking about detoxing, that's what this card with angel interpretations. Okay. <laughs> that's what, that's what's going on there. Michael is detoxifying the energy here cleaning it up for you. It's been a tough time for a lot of people, obviously. If you watch for your sun, moon, and rising, you're going to be seeing there's a lot of overlapping messages here. Um, it's been a struggle. It's been a huge struggle. And the things that make life beautiful, Joe Fiel, things that make life beautiful, love. Love, feeling understood having little victories, you know what I mean? Um, exercising your free will, which is the decision card. That's part of your soul's path is to do that. You're realizing this month where you've held yourself back from being able to do that, to be happy, to be in love, or to love a project, to love something that you're engaged in, you know? Um, too much of this has been... I got to do this because I, I'm in now, I got to do it, or I got to do this to make money, or I have to do something to support my family, these sorts of things. Now, I'm not saying don't support your family, obviously, <laughs> but there's some realizations taking place and some adjustments that you are making that are working out very well. Some people may not like it. Some people might want to struggle with you. They might want to fight you on it. But I think you're in a time where you're ready to lay this down. You're ready to say, no, I've already given everybody else enough of a shot. I've already held my ba myself back so other people could have this, that, and the other. I'm going to decide to commit to myself. I'm going to take accountability for my life. I'm going to step into this better energy where I can actually wake up and not feel like I have to accomplish something to allow myself to be happy. I can just wake up and be. That's what you're getting at here this month. And because of that, yes, it does align you with these beautiful opportunities here. Where instead of maybe having to work several jobs, maybe, I don't know that you'll get a job this month. The potential's there for anything, of course. But maybe this is more of a, this is ridiculous. I've always accepted that having two or three jobs is the norm when it's not okay I'm realizing I just want one job one job that I like <laughs> right? that covers my needs and I feel like I'm a part of something I feel like I'm fulfilling a purpose you know all of that good stuff a lot of realizations going on here a lot about connections with others opening your heart there's a lot going on there stick with it okay I am sending you all so much love and take care